Hello everyone, welcome back. It is Thursday. We're going to take a look at this $14.99 of Value Village bag. I have a very sneaking suspicion that most of this is broken. Um, there were a couple of pieces like this piece here that I saw and a couple other things that I, I thought were pretty interesting, but I'm not too hopeful about this one. But let's see what we got for $14.99. If there's anything broken in here and we can fix it, we're going to try to fix it in the video too. So let's grab some of this. These are bags that I have laying around that I haven't gone through that I didn't pack yet. So, to the mystery, what is in them? At $14.99, you never know. But right away, just from what I'm seeing, I'm not too hopeful. <laughs> but I craft, so for $14.99 for, you know, some good pieces... That uh, ain't nothing to shake a stick at, so. First thing we have is what looks like a older acrylic necklace. So it got a nice navy blue. It's missing a clasp. So I'm going to go grab one and we're going to fix this. All right, so I found a rather large spring clasp and a jump ring. We're just going to add it. It has these folded over threaded uh, clasps on it, attachments. So I just want to make sure you can see the thread in there. I just want to make sure that this is really secure. So I'm just going to take it and just pinch it in so that there's no gap for when I put the jump ring and the clasp on. You can actually um, take this off if you wanted. You could you just cut this with wire cutters, and then you could add a new uh, a new um, way of having it uh, have the clasp attached. But we'll just leave it just to keep it for its authenticity and its age. This I don't like. Yeah, it's pretty close. Okay, I can see here too on these beads. There's a little bit of wear, but you can get away with it. It adds to the age. So this spring clasp, there is a slit here. I'm just going to pry it apart in the opposite direction so that I can slide it onto this finding here. And then I'm just going to bring it back towards itself to close it. Until both ends meet. And then we've put that really lovely spring clasp on there. I love how big it is. We'll make it easy to put on. Got a good sturdy jump ring. We're going to do the same thing. Just going to bend it apart. And then I'm just going to attach it here and bend it back together. So, first accessory we fixed. Lovely. Let's take a look at this. This is lovely as well, except for, oh, isn't that interesting? It's got a silver wash on it, but underneath, blue beads. There's not a lot I can do with this other than take off these silver beads. 
So let's go ahead and deconstruct it and we will salvage the beads. So I like to try to use everything. The clasp itself, pretty good shape. So we'll just go ahead and take that off. Just prying off the accessory piece we don't need, not the piece we do. So that's fixed or salvaged. Let's see what this end. This is a split ring. Um, it looks like it's threaded, but it's just wire wrapped twice. I don't like split rings. They're difficult to work with, so I don't keep those. Now I'm just going to cut the threading medium and work to collect these. So these I'll just toss. This is garbage, but we got some really funky vintage acrylic beads. Put them in our little container. Actually, give me one second. I wanted it to be not super noisy, so let me do this. I'm going to lay this down here. And then when we pull things apart, they're not going to dance all over the place. Oh, you could see the yellowing of this thread. I'll show you at the end. It's really old. Might be sweat. Neat. So that's garbage. So then we'll just pick out the pieces that we're going to get rid of. I would just throw these in a bag of uh, crafting pieces and then if I sell it, I sell it really cheap and sometimes people can use these. A lot of dirt in between those. But I think we've got quite a nice set of beads here. And vintage beads are very popular. Obviously it's hard to come by them in stores because they're modern. So if you can get a nice selection of vintage beads together, people tend to uh, purchase those. Here is another one. Some of the paint is coming off on some of these. This one I can't really do much with. It's got a nice sturdy jump ring though so I'm going to salvage that because when you have vintage pieces sometimes it's hard to find the hardware those findings that has the same patina due to age so I like to keep these in a separate container and use them now this looks like it might be screwed in so I'm just going to see if I can get it to come out and it is so we'll keep that as well. You never know what you're going to need. And then these beads I'll just put in a crafting bag. It's hard to get these um, to come off of the threading medium because they're glued inside. So it's not a clean salvage. So we'll put those over there. A cute little chain. This is missing a jump ring. This is a nice chain. It's in pretty good condition. So I'm going to go see if I can find a gold jump ring that we can add on there. So I was able to find this jump ring and it actually matches the chain quite nice. Um, the color is very bright. So we're going to go ahead and add that on and it's big so it'll be easy to catch. It's a little bit bigger than the um, spring clasp but that's okay. You want to make it easy 
to do up your, your jewelry. Now we've got to make sure it fits. And it doesn't look like this is actually going to fit. It's a paper clip chain, so we need to go a little bit smaller. So I'm going to go check for a smaller one. I have this uh, big lot here, but uh, they're all the same size. One second. All right, we've got some really bright gold, much smaller jump rings. We'll go ahead and give this a try. And uh, you can see the difference. We'll give this a try and see how it fits on this paper clip chain. And it suits the spring clasp a lot better than the large one. And it fits perfect. So we're going to close it up. And we just fix this really cute chain. I actually have something we could stick on this as well. So I'm going to just go grab that and see if we can add a pendant to it. I thought for fun we would add this tiny little revolver pendant. I've been wanting to use it for a while. It's very simple. It kind of goes well with the chain color and I'm sure somebody uh, will love this. I myself would wear it. Um, I have my gun license and I love going to the range with my husband. So maybe I'll keep it. So we'll just put that on there. There, we just recycled this old chain and recycled a pendant. I think it looks really cute. Very different. So that's been saved. Lovely. So two pieces we were able to uh, save. Here we have statement necklace and it is missing part of its chain here. You can see there's the jump ring. Let's look at the rest of it. It almost looks as if it doesn't know where it's supposed to lay. You can see in here. This is a fuchsia color. You may not be seeing that on the camera. I think that these, for some reason, it just doesn't sit properly. I like all these beads. I think somebody could use them. So let's go ahead and see how quickly we can dismantle this. Got some rather large jump rings here. We'll want to save these, so we're going to do our best. Once you start to dismantle stuff, you'll get really good at it, and you'll just fly through it. It's actually quite relaxing to do. So if you're sitting there and you've got a box of old pieces, you can go to the dollar store, grab yourself a tool like this, a pair of scissors, and just take things apart. And then if you're really feeling creative, you can make something new with them. Give them away, sell them, use it in art, all kinds of different things that you can do. This chain is uh, the Rolo chain that I like. I love this type of chain. We'll see what it looks like after we're done dismantling this piece. I love that these plastic beads are fauceted too, which is really cool because it gives it that extra shimmer. This could be multiple pairs of earrings that you make. It could be another statement necklace. It could be um, a charm bracelet if you love chunky charm bracelets. It's endless possibilities. And it could just be something that sits in your cupboard because you say you're going to do something with it, but you never do. You get busy.
I love that sound of the beads. There's fishing line in this uh, necklace as well, I'm just noticing now. It's stringing these beads together. So a lot, a lot going on in this piece. So you think about how long did it take to make it and how quickly it, and easy it was to take it apart. Sometimes it's uh, hard to find where it opens because it, with wear, it will open a little bit and then the chain gets stuck on it. We got a lot of pink today so far. We're almost there. There's a viewer, I um, can't remember her name, but she's been making a lot of beautiful jewelry and I've been following her on her Facebook page. And that, I think, is how you pronounce her name. And uh, just beautiful sterling pieces that she's been making and um, Southwest style jewelry. It was very inspiring. And uh, it's really nice to see her investing in, uh, you know, that creativity. So well done for, to you for doing that. I'm going to take a look at this. The chain is, it's so-so. Yeah, I'm, I'm not, uh, that clasp is good though. You can take it, it's almost got like an antique finish to it. Maybe I will keep it, and then we'll just fiddle with it. Give it a clean in the, uh, what do you call it? Jewelry cleaner. It's got a different name than that, but. So we've got this chain. I believe it just needs to be cleaned. Nice Rolo. We got all these lovely very large antique finish, kind of quasi gold, and a great lobster clasp. Got some lovely fuchsia and acrylic beads. And then these wonderful teardrop fauceted acrylic beads we got as well. So lots of really great things that we were able to pull off of there. This is very pretty too. This is a hinge bracelet. It is missing a stone here. And that's it. It's a blue I think I have. This is gorgeous. I really like this. Let's see what it looks like on. Oh, of course, I just happen to be wearing blue. That's really pretty. Let's fix this. I don't see any tarnish or wear on the edges, so I'm assuming they lost the stone and that was it for them. So let me see if I can find, I'll go get the, the box of rhinestones. All right, so these are the very tiny rhinestones that I have. And when you have something like this, what I usually do is I will put it down in the pile and I will look and move the stones around the piece to see which colors catch my eye that match what needs to be filled. In this case, I found the color right here and I found the right size to fill this little hole here. So we're going to take our GS Hypo Cement. It uh, has a pin, as I've mentioned before. I don't have my tool that allows me to pick up 
the rhinestone, it's got a wax end. When you touch the top of the rhinestone, it sticks to it and it allows you to set it in nicely. So this is going to be interesting because that tool is packed. So I'm going to have to use my chubby fingers. I've taken the part that was uh, globbing up the tip. You don't have to squeeze it. It just through the sheer force of pressure will come out. So I'm just going to allow it to flow out on its own. We'll put some glue in here. The nice thing about this glue is it dries clear. It doesn't yellow. It smells really bad. But um, you can use it in crevices and in cracks. You can poke it into very small spaces. For some reason it's not coming out. There we go. So being able to do that instead of using the E6000 large tube. I am going to give it a squeeze. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Okay, so you can see I've got a little glob coming out. And now it's going to be a for it's going to be a force to be reckoned with now. It won't stop. So the trick, as I've mentioned before, is getting this back in. See, I shouldn't have squeezed it. I got impatient. And now I gotta wipe it off. The trick is getting this tip into that tiny little hole, and you become really good at it the more you do it. So what I'm gonna do is that cavity is filled with glue. I'm gonna pick up my little tool here, grab this rhinestone and just drop it in there. Then I'm gonna take my finger and just tap it down. And we just replaced that missing stone looks a little darker right now because it's wet once it dries it'll be the same color but I did confirm it was the same color so now I'm gonna leave this upright and we fixed it what a beaut it reminds me of a peacock gorgeous bracelet looking forward to uh, seeing how that sets and just like the magic of television, we have replaced all of our rhinestones in their container. These are all rhinestones I've salvaged from broken accessories that I've gotten in jewelry bags and jars. I have never in my entire life ever paid for a rhinestone. So it just goes to show you, salvaging is worth it. Those are the tiny ones. These are the big ones that I've salvaged. Everything down to cabochons, even brettes that I find. So there's definitely value in recycling. What else do we have in here? Oh, this looks like it was, oh, it was a bracelet. There are just some things that I cannot fix. You can see there are stones missing here. These are really nice stones, so we'll just take those apart, but we won't do that in this video. That would have been so pretty. You could, <laughs> depending on how many of these stones were missing, it looks like one, two, three, four, five, Five of those are missing and everything else is there. You could, and because I'm going to take it apart anyways, I'm just going to show you. You can take your wire cutters and you can snip this off. And you can look at the pattern. Because this is missing, you would snip that off. You would come down here and snip this off. And you could even do the same thing down here. My son's tooth just fell out, so I had to stop the camera. 
Anyways, you could do this. You could uh, follow the same pattern. And, um, well, that one was already coming off anyways. And then just, you know, create something new. So it's all about playing with it. But um, it's kind of neat. Maybe I will do that. I don't know. So I'll probably just salvage it for the stones and add them to our bucket. So one piece we couldn't really save. Here is another. Oh, this was a watch. A watch at one point with some lovely hearts. It's all stretched out. Some nice beads. This is probably knotted underneath. Oh, okay, I see how it's in there. There we go. Same here. Is it glued? I might have glued this one. Or it's knotted. I'm not able to get it. It feels as if it's glued. I'll have to use something with an edge to get in there. Pull it out. Yeah, we'll have to do that. So this is a really cute watch face. It says quartz. It's got lots of watch faces. And then these segments. They've got kind of like a mermaid pattern on them. Like the tail of a mermaid. It says made in China. But they're in really good condition. So I'm sure we can find something to do with those. But that would be a much more involved project. Probably another bracelet, but with different accents. These beads are in good condition. No, they have a lot of wear on them from pressing up against those hearts. So those will go. Ooh, what is this? Look at that. It's like a lizard. And it is a pin. It's got two black rhinestones for eyes. It's articulated. What's wrong with it? Pin looks like it's bent out of shape. Well, doesn't look like anything's wrong with it. Neat. Let's reshape that. pretty bent. It's a little bit better. Very cute. It's not marked anywhere, but what an interesting little pin. Like a gecko. Cool. So three things that we were able to pull out of this bag. Two we fixed. This looks like an old pendant from a guest necklace. It's seen better days. We won't be able to salvage that. We got some tub stopper chain here. Some more chain, an earring. This reminds me of the Price is Right. Is that what it was back in the day? It's a cute little enamel earring. Would make a nice pendant. Here is another one, spider. Make some good Halloween jewelry. We can recycle those. Here is that tub stopper chain I was talking about. It's got another chain attached to it. Oh, it's very dainty. Might be silver. Looks like it could be. But it is really wrapped up in here. And it's missing a clasp. I think we will put the chain aside. It's a nice chain too. That is missing a jump ring. So let me get a jump ring. Jump rings are super easy fixes. 
And like I said, chain is always good to find. And it's also missing a clasp. Okay, so we need that as well. Okay, we are going to open this up. Add on our new lobster clasp. It's a more modern necklace. Does need a pendant. Let's see if we can find something to put on it. So I was able to find this really cute elephant. But the interesting thing about this elephant, it's actually the end component of a toggle clasp. So the T-bar would slide through on an angle through here, and this would be how the bracelet or necklace connected together. But when you find these uh, types of toggle clasp pieces, they make really good pendants too. And I like this elephant, so we're going to add this elephant onto this necklace. I think the texture and uh, the texture of the necklace and the texture of the elephant, they go well together. You can add it through individual links, but I like to put it over the entire necklace so that it can flow and you don't have to worry about how you're wearing the necklace. So we just uh, saved this chain, added a cute little elephant pendant. There is a safety pin with some beads. I do not believe it's old. I used to make safety pin bracelets. It's a lot of work. Here is an old tarnished ring. We can heat that up and pop those out. And this is really good um, because they're very tiny and I, I need a lot of tiny uh, rhinestones. So that will go in our bucket. Same with this. I won't be able to salvage this um, unless they pop out nicely because they're plastic and when if you heat them they melt so we'll see if we can fix that it's probably not worth my time that's just a plastic ring that we were going to look at later this is garbage got an older chain here very dirty used to be a nice gold color really can't be salvaged and the clasp is quite messy whoa this is an interesting earring whose post back is bent so let's slowly fix that this has got some gorgeous aurora borealis they are all there too so if we find this other earring we can clean it up gorgeous so we'll keep an eye out for that oh there's a rhinestone we missed picking up i have no idea what this is it is very pretty, but it is broken here. I'm wondering if it was a purse strap. I love the chain mail look. Already my mind is thinking about all the things. Oh, it's made very well too. It's very heavy duty metal. So much so that it would take two of these on either side to pry it open. This would be very pretty bracelets. And they would be easy to connect. So maybe that will be another project. A little too involved for this video, but we'll see what we can do with that. Alright, let's pull out a little bit more and then we'll finish this bag later. Or maybe we'll just look at everything and we won't fix things anymore. Acrylic. Nice and big. We can salvage those. This is a metal bracelet with French coins. They look like they're just casted French coins, but we can definitely put that back together. Oh, I just can't help myself. Can't help myself.
I do not like this clasp though. It's like somebody tried to fix it, but really didn't think about the color. Could have been a quick repair. I'm going to see if we can find a new, we're definitely going to keep this uh, lobster clasp though, because it's really nice. Let's see if we can find a darker clasp. clasp. And I found this one, so we're going to use that one to get this piece fixed. I love this coin, and it is metal. It looks like plastic play money, but it is quite uh, sturdy and substantial. I'll put it on this hand so you don't see my dog scratches. Look at that. Just fixed that. It's got like antelope on it. I don't know if they're real coins or not. I'll have to look that up. But I think that all matches now. So we were able to fix that. Really cool. Here's a funky ring. It's dirty. But it definitely uh, just needs to be cleaned. Adjustable, good condition, lovely. So we'll, re -clean, we'll clean that up. This looks like it came off of a necklace. Another crafting piece. Where is it cute? This looks like it had other components to it, but very pretty. Definitely can use that. Here's a ring. Missing a stone. It's pretty. Still in good condition. I think I'll fix that as well. A variety pin. One in every jewelry bag. An older cross. Well loved. It's in rough shape. We'll put that in a cross lot. It's an old ring. These don't last very long. One stone falls out, then all hell breaks loose on, the, on those rings. Ooh, this is pretty. It's a cloisonne butterfly and flower heart pin. Very nice. We got some nice things in this bag. There's bits and bobs. Here's another pin. Sun never sets on, the sun never sets on Girl Scouts, Girl Guides. Well, that's neat. Vintage pin. An old stretchy gunmetal hammered ring. Canada pin. This is broken. Some good segments in there though. You can salvage those. Ooh, sandstone. Oh, what a shame. It's broken. It's broken here. And I can't fix that. I'm good, but I'm not that good. It's too bad. That would have been really neat. I'm surprised it doesn't have a name on it. What a pretty piece. Shame. Some necklace. Some leaves with uh, missing pieces. We can salvage all of those though. Those are in good condition. Don't know what that is. This, what is this? This is massive, whatever it is. That's a rosary stuck in there. It is a pin. It's missing a stone. That's gorgeous. That's an easy fix. Well, sparkly that is. Very big. I'm gonna fix that. An earring. 
It's an apple. No, is it? Yeah, it's an earring. Here is what appeared to be a necklace. It's got writing on it. This might be gold. If that's gold, is that a diamond? We got to test it. So this says 10K and we're going to test this. It's probably cubic zirconia, but let's go ahead and test it. It's pretty small. It's cold in here. We'll start off at four bars. Doesn't look like it. Let's give it up a little bit. Nope. So it is just probably cubic zirconia, but we got a little bit of scrap gold there, which is nice. It's too bad. It's quite pretty. We could even take this off and then just add a gold jump ring, and then you could have a really dainty bracelet. You can always fix chain, unless it's welded together, then it gets a little more difficult. And there's scraps in here, <laughs> not like this earring, and it's a big dinosaur. <laughs> oh my goodness. We've got a wooden rosary. That is very nice. It's missing something on the bottom. I would assume the beads. This is a very heavy duty. Bracelet. It looks like it's broken yeah it's not sticking I think those need to be pried a little bit sometimes they get bent that uh, I don't think would be fun to wear but there's lots of good chain in there and it's in great condition so we're gonna take that apart got uh, lots of tiny little look at these Oh, these are fun. Oh, wow. Look at these. Little crowns and little purses. Really cute charms. Stretchy bracelet. Seen better days. It's going to go in a craft lot. I can't salvage those. This has its original tag on it. Nickel free. Very soft. It's kind of cute. Clamper. A little bit of threading over here. Fraying, I mean. And it says, our price $15. Animal print bangle. But it doesn't say where it's from. It might say it underneath, and I don't recognize that tag. Kind of cool. Nothing wrong with it. Just have to cut that off. Here's another interesting one. This is fabric. Links. Very neat. It almost looks like dragon scales. Very cool. You know what? There was some good stuff in here. There's a cool earring. No match. Sorry if that was out of focus. Here's a pendant. It says. Avon, I think. Gold filled. Says something. Titan, I think. It's hard for me to see. I don't have my loop. That's a really cute vintage little flower with a pearl. We've got these too. It's got some nice stones in there. Garnets. And the rest is bits and bobs. Tie clip. Canada pin. Commemorating 150. Another variety pin. And then, yeah, some rhinestone jewelry. Little pieces. This is a, a leather trillium. I sold those. I had them before. Yeah, so not bad. Not bad at all. Got lots we can work with in here. Oh, there's a cross. What's this? That looks like it was gold. 
or is cold, but it's broken. It says something on it. Oh, I cannot see. But I think we found some more scrap gold in there. Okay, well, that was interesting. Oh, this looks like it came off of this piece. It probably hung off here. So let's just add that on. It says Republic of Franca on it. And it's probably like just an accent charm like that. Yeah. I love this. This is so cool. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoy uh, going through and fixing things as we, we find them. I think it's fun. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Until next time, take care of yourselves.